Can you identify the tissue covered by the arrow? Skeletal muscle. Now, can you see striations? Can you? Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, maybe we can see some striations. Uh, I don't even see decent peripheral nuclei. What I hear from you is a familiarity that you look at it and it kind of feels right. That's, that's skeletal muscle. Even though all the little details we've been pounding in your heads aren't really all there. You're becoming good at this. This is starting to make sense to you. Okay? What perspective is covered by the arrow? What perspective is this? Cross section, yeah, good, yeah. And what perspective is this? Longitudinal section, see? Uh, and so we can see those things. If we go up to a higher power, now we can begin to see some peripheral nuclei in the cross section. We can begin to see, there are some cross striations below the arrow. Confirms, yes, you're right. That's good skeletal muscle. Why do we have skeletal muscle going in various directions here? Longitudinal, there's some diagonal, there's some cross section, just going around in all directions. Why would, oh, what's this? Recognize? Identify the structures in the vicinity of the arrow? There I hear it, yes. Mucous tubules, absolutely, okay? You're recognizing this stuff. Uh, all of this stuff in here. I'm what, what do we think it all is? It might be Cirrus' Sinai type things. Looks like uh, glandular material, ducts. These look like a lot of ducts to me. Okay. Um, so, anybody have any idea where we are? Oh, can we identify this tissue? That's not a tissue. Identify the tissue. Tissue is? Keratinized, stratified, squamous, ep no, non-keratinized, non-keratinized, stratified, squamous epithelial tissue. Actually, uh, there's nuclei all the way to the surface, aren't there? So it's non-keratinized. If I might ask in, in my way, identify the ugly organ in the field of view. That ugly organ is the tongue, okay? I look at this large structure filling the field of view. I'm on the lowest power here. Identify this large structure filling the field of view. I hear it. A circumvallate papilla, okay? Uh, and you notice, if this is a papilla, can you identify the layer indicated by the arrow, by the way? I hear it. It's been the same answer from last semester, even. Lamina propria, isn't it? Okay, what kind of membrane do we see in the field of view? Yes, a mucous membrane, see? And I'm looking at the lamina propria, and we're in a circumphalate papilla. So what happens if I go up into here? What is this structure? Well, I don't think you, you, we've been looked at that. It's a secondary papilla. So we have these things called secondary papilla that reach up inside the uh, epithelium of the papilla. Dumb question just popped into my mind. What's the purpose of a secondary papilla? Ah, yes. Surface area. It's always the same answer, isn't it? Okay, so what do we need surface area here for? To feed the epithelium, huh? Okay, to feed the epithelium. There's going to be capillaries in there and such that are going to feed. This is a pretty thick layer of epithelium. And so you have to have some ways to get some diffusion of nutrients, oxygen, whatever, uh, into that epithelial tissue. Okay? Um, 
try another one here. See what we come up with. This is glue. Okay? Just check in to see if you remembered uh, our glue. So I'll move back now, low power, move back into here. Identify the tissue in the field of view. Okay, those of you that started out skeletal muscle at the beginning, you were right. Okay? Um, and so we see really nice striations, nice skeletal muscle. Back off and the striations don't show up. Perspective, longitudinal, perspective, cross. And we see this all alternating. That looks like a what? Looks a lot like an artery to me. You guys are right. Good answer. Okay? Good answer. Okay? Uh, and we look around on here and we see again muscle going in all different kinds of directions. What does this muscle going in different kinds of directions represent? No, not necessarily intestinal tract, no. I mean, what organ am I playing with here? It's the tongue again, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is, with all these different muscles going in all different directions like this, this is tongue. If I work my way down here far enough, I should run into... Ah, identify the tissue surrounding the uh, pointer. What's it look like? Connective tissue. Why does it look like connective tissue? Because it is. Okay. What connective tissue does this look like? Dense white fibrous connective tissue irregularly arranged. So this is a good example of dense irregular connective tissue. Okay, just happen to run into it. Okay, keep moving down here. Come on. Ah, uh, identify the tissue occupied by the pointer. You sound like a bunch of little parrots. Did you did you look at it? It looks keratinized, doesn't it? Okay, okay, let's get up close. What do you think? It's keratinized, isn't it? Why? Okay. 